Hi there and welcome to part three of this review of the Firefly recovery device by me, Wayne, from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com. Um, well, I wore the Firefly devices for about four hours last night, between the time I showered and put them on, that you saw on the video, to the time I went to bed. And I even wore them in bed to see how they felt. And I'll tell you why. The device had a discernible twitch when my legs were flexed, so you were doing this all the time. And it was literally perhaps that strong when my leg was flexed. As you unflex your leg or extend your leg, the twitching becomes less and less. And as the twitching becomes less and less, obviously uh, you wonder how hard you need to flex on each of those tw twitches um, to actually be effective. I don't know that. I'm going to have to play with that in the future. Um, but certainly, as my legs were flexed, the discernible twitching increased. So I wore them just into bed because my wife said, well, if, if you were twitching like that, I wouldn't be able to sleep. That would be important if, you, if you're not lonely and you, you actually do sleep with someone. Um, you don't really want them kept awake all night because you're trying to recover. So I wore them just into bed, and as you extend your legs, as I said, the twitching becomes virtually undiscernible. You just can't tell. And I said, well, that's fine. Yeah, I, I could sleep with that. That's not a problem. But I didn't want to wear them in bed. I hadn't done that much exercise, so I wore them for four hours, and that's the test I wanted to make. I will play with the intensities in the future so that I get slightly less of a twitch on a flexed leg and see if that has the same effect as this particular one has. So I then slept and I've woken up and I have no real pain in my muscles or leg at all. And I'm really pressing that muscle to feel any knots uh, and, and injury that I potentially could have. And when I was running, I had a slight, well, I had a feeling of tightness on the outside of my Achilles. So I thought I was going to get pain there and I haven't got it this morning. And my legs do feel as if I could actually go out for a run this morning. So some kind of recovery has actually occurred and that has to be a benefit to the endurance athlete either when racing or in training. Now at 30 pounds for these devices alone, this is not a cheap option for recovery. But it may be your only option for swift recovery. So therefore, my four hours use of these has cost me £7.50. To me, that's okay. If, if I know I need to recover quickly and I put these on, then that £7.50 is well spent, as far as I'm concerned. And if you're training for an Ironman, you want to get a particular time, and you know you've got to get the training in, then recovery might be the key. If you are an age group athlete looking to qualify for either the European or World Championships and you are going through a series of qualifying races and they're in one, two weeks time, then you need to recover from each race as quickly as possible. If that's the case, then these are virtually invaluable and even £15 per use is not overly expensive to recover and actually help you achieve your goal. And that's what really we're talking about, isn't it? It's helping you achieve your goal. And if your goal is a serious goal, then you have to think of serious methods to help you achieve them. Okay, that's it for this series of tests on the Firefly recovery device. Well worth it if you're a serious athlete, in my opinion. If you want to see more videos that we upload, please subscribe to the channel. You'll get an instant reminder when we do something. Um, if not, just check back every so often. We will have some interesting things on swimming, cycling and running. In the meantime, keep well, train well and have a good 2000.